Hey guys, Tom from Photoix here. Um, I've got a slightly different video for you again today. I know some people don't like these, um, but uh, tough really. Um, today I've got uh, the new Blackview camera, and this was sent to me by Pitasoft. Um, so I'm going to do a quick unboxing for you first of all and uh, see what you get and what the new camera looks like. Uh, then I'll give my quick first impressions over the old model. And then in the coming few days and weeks I'll be doing a few more Blackview videos. Um, I'll do a full review of the new camera. Hopefully I'll get a setup video going. And also I'll try and do a comparison between the new model and the old model. And um, I'll also put up some sample footage from the camera. So first of all let's open this box up and see what the new camera looks like. Hopefully it's not too difficult to get into. Right, here it is. There's the black view, and I've also got the Power Magic Pro, which I shall have a look at in a minute. I've not uh, used one of those before, so that'd be interesting to look at. Okay, so here it is. It's the new Full HD Blackview DR500 D, uh, GWHD. Uh, this edition has now got Wi Fi built into the camera which I think is a really good addition. Uh, the box is a lot smaller than the old box used to be. You can just see the old box there in the background for the uh, DR400G. So let's have a look inside. If I can get into it. It's nicely presented inside the box. First impressions are it looks a lot bigger than the uh, previous model. I don't know if that's just me, but it looks a lot bigger. Okay, so there's the camera. It's got a little lens cover on it. There's the windscreen mount. What else have we got in here? It's another little box with some accessories inside. I've got uh, there's a load of sticky pads to route the cable. There's a spare big sticky pad for uh, for the sticking the main thing on the windscreen. There's a micro SD. I think it's an adapter. I'm not entirely sure what it adapts to. Maybe to USB. I think it is. That's quite nifty. The thing I've always loved about Blackview cameras is that they always included absolutely everything you needed to get going. Um, they always included adapters and everything. Uh, so there, this is a micro SD to USB adapter by the looks of it. Looks like you plug a USB cable in there and put your card in the end. It's really good. And you've got the cigarette adapter plug. A really long cable on it as well so you can uh, route it through your car out of the way. And we've got the instruction manual. Uh, it's all in English, all those pages are in English, so it's quite comprehensive. Looks well laid out, easy to read, which is good. So let's have a closer look at the camera. Okay, you can see that the camera spins inside the uh, windscreen mount and then on the mount you've got a button which says lock which allows you to actually pull the camera out. There's the windscreen mount on its own. It's a lot bigger than the previous version. And here's the camera. 
on that end you've got the DC input for the power and you've got the Wi-Fi on and off button and then under this cover where the um, micro SD card goes and it also comes with a 16 gigabyte micro SD card which again is excellent I mean when you buy a £3,000 DSLR it doesn't even come with a, an SD card or anything so the fact that they supply a, a card as well is brilliant on the back you've got the recording light and the GPS light and the speaker then on this end um, you've got some more lights, indicator lights that looks a bit like a battery light, Wi-Fi light and just this black view there um, it's got an interesting cover thing on it, let's see if I can get this off there we go so there's the lens just some very quick specs on this camera uh, it's got a 2 megapixel CMOS sensor and it's got an IR lens with an angle of view of 120 and 3 quarter degrees diagonal 98 3 quarter degrees horizontal and 55 and a quarter degrees vertical 3 quarter degrees vertical sorry um, the resolution is full HD uh, 1920 by 1080 at 30 frames a second um, there's also several other settings, HD at uh, 1280, 720 at 30 frames, uh, full HD at 1920 and 1080 at 15 frames, and there's various other ones as well at 15 frames and uh, sort of VGA quality at 30 frames a second. So the fastest is 30 frames a second. Uh, it's got built-in G sensor like all the Blackbeards have. Um, it's also got built-in Wi-Fi as I mentioned, built-in GPS and built-in speaker and microphone. The only thing that I can see is missing from this new model is the uh, video out port that the previous model had. Uh, I guess the reason they've done that is because of the Wi-Fi um, you, if you want to stream the video to your uh, phone or your tablet you can do so through the Wi-Fi. Um, it's not necessarily a bad thing um, I mean it saves on cables but I know that when I got my other version of the DR400G I did look at actually wiring it into a monitor into the car so I could see what was going on which you wouldn't be able to do with this but uh, you can use the Blackview app on your smartphone and get the live view from the Wi-Fi which is brilliant okay so that's the new Blackview uh, DR500GWHD like I said earlier I'll be doing some more videos on this uh, comparison with the old model uh, sample footage and I'll do a full review um, probably at the end of the week or maybe next week once I've used it a bit more uh, huge thanks to Blackview for sending me this for review and I can't wait to uh, start using it I really love the Blackview cameras and I can't wait to try out the Wi-Fi function alright guys thanks very much and I'll see you again soon bye bye I forgot to mention in the uh, in the Blackview video there that I've also got the Paramagic Pro from Blackview. Um, I've heard of these, I've never actually used one, um, but I've heard a lot of people with the Blackviews that I know do have one of these. Uh, its basic premise is it allows you to keep the camera running at all times. Um, it basically hardwires into the car's electrics so you can have the parking mode enabled properly. Um, but what it also does as well as that is actually stops the battery from discharging fully on your car. Um, clever electronics inside sense the voltage of your car battery and as it starts to get too low um, it should actually cut the power off. Um, so let's have a look inside. Um, I can't tell you too much about it, like I said I've never used one before, I've never held one and electrics are definitely not my strong point but I'll do my best to uh, to explain what it does and how it works. Okay, so inside here we have the box. Um, this is the adapter, that's where you would plug in the cigarette lighter end of the cable you got with your black view. And here is a plug which you can plug straight into your car, presumably. Oh no, that goes into the um, box itself, sorry. And somewhere, here we are, somewhere are some blank cables which you'd actually wire into your car and they're all labelled up so if you're stupid like me and don't understand electronics then it's all there for you um, 
So that would go to your accessory port, the positive. Uh, that cable there would go to the ground. There's a cable there which goes to the battery, which would be that one there with the little um, fork on the end. And there's, yes, yeah, so that's it. It's just three wires there. I might have to ask some of my um, more electronically minded friends to help me wire that into the car. Okay, so here's the box, the Power Magic Pro, made by Pitasoft. That's where you plug in the plug from the wiring. Now on here we've got a load of little jumper pins. I'm going to have to read the manual on these because I have no idea. And an on off button. You've got another massive sticky pad so you can stick the box somewhere but it's also got um, screw holes as well so you could mount that. And it also comes with two self tapping screws as well which is brilliant. So let's have a quick look at these um, these instructions. It tells you exactly how to install it, um, where to put it in the fuse box of the car, which is really good. And then it's got uh, voltage setting switch one and two multi booting, and you can configure the voltage um, on which the device cuts off the power. Um, which is really good actually, I didn't realise it could do that. So basically on my car I know if my car goes below about uh, 14 volts I know the electrics start to play up. Um, so I could actually set on here the sort of voltage that I want this device to stop powering the camera um, so it, uh, it doesn't drain my car battery. Okay so that's really good. Um, like I said I've never used one before so I'm going to have to get some help probably installing this but it looks fairly straightforward. Uh, it doesn't look too complicated at all. So I try and install that on the car. So I'll try and do a video of me doing that as well if I can. Um, so yeah, there's the Paramagic Pro as well, which I've got, which would be brilliant because then I can actually have the parking mode enabled on the Black View, which I haven't been able to do uh, as yet. All right then, thanks guys.